I just wanted to make a quick video, more of, well, more of an update really on what what's going on with the uh, 2600K processor. Um, before I was saying now I'd hit a, a wall at 4.6 gigahertz. Um, I actually updated to the latest BIOS and had some issues with that. I couldn't get a boot um, after a reinstall Windows and then a reflash. Um, everything seems to be going well. Um, right now it's running at 5 gigahertz and I'm just going to run a quick um, Cinebench just to show you that uh, let's focus the voltage it's actually using is 1472 The BIOS is the latest one, it's the Beta BIOS uh, 1053. And it actually turns out that the, the main issue which was preventing me booting before was um, obviously there was the multiplier wall, but after that, um, one of my 580s is dead. So that's got to be RMA'd. Uh, score against the top one 9.78. 9.75 was a previous run I did um, and again this 5 gigahertz overclock is with um, stock um, settings in BIOS just changed the multiplied to 50 and actually didn't do anything else um, so it's, it's unbelievably easy to overclock, it's a little bit cheating really because 5 gigahertz is like, you know, something people would really be shooting for with lots of chips. You know, and then they've made it so simple that it's kind of a little bit lame. Seven point five six six. Not the fastest I've done. Disabling hyperthreading and stuff would probably give me a bigger score. But the highest score I've got is a seven five three five, and that was again at five gigahertz. Um, it was, as well, I've not tested stability with five point one or higher, but um, I've been in Windows with five point one gigahertz and you know done what I needed to do. I was just benching for stability with the the 5 gigahertz. It runs through 3D Mark, um, no problem. Um, maybe I can just show you the CPU score. Uh, physics test, combined test. Let's see what sort of score I get with this. If it ever loads, mm, is that a thirty second loading? My highest score so far is 1580, 580 at 930 megahertz core clock, memory 2200, um, CPU at 5 gigahertz, memory is at 1600 megahertz, it was like 6900 and something, something uh, 920 or something. This is the CPU GPU test. It's not NVIDIA physics, it's direct compute, I think. So, 
unlike the 3D more advantage. <laughs> Zero. No. Uh, where's the score? And for some reason, I'm not sure why. Well, probably because it's new. But it claims the CPU is at 5.8 gigahertz. That would be nice. Um, where's the CPU score? Right there we go. Okay, physics scores 10,615. Combined test is 5815. Um, let's find my other scores quickly. Um, okay, 6918. And that is again. 5 gigahertz, not 5 8. Core clock's actually 915, memory 2200. Uh, okay, physics in that one. GPU score 6497, physics score 10622, and combined score 677. Or 6677. Oh, okay, that's, I just wanted to show that for now. If I manage to push the CPU much further, I'll um, continue to make some more videos. Alright, thanks for watching.